Hi everyone, so this is a quick video to show you how to get more out of substratum theming. In the last video I just showed a demonstration of how you can use the quick apply options but this time let's go a bit deeper and check out what's more to offer. So this, what, this time we are not using the quick apply option so we'll go to the overlay manager. Why? Because, well we'll toggle it all because I'm gonna theme all the apps. Uh, make sure that you're using theme ready gaps to see your uh, Google Apps get themed properly so I'll leave that link in the description below and over here as you can see in the Android system we can choose any default accent and any default background so accent will be the color changes made over here in the um, notification panel or the status bar but, but anyways so I like light blue as an accent and the default background will be all black even the Deity OMS has a lot of options in their uh, accent and primary colors and backgrounds so you can play around with this settings I will prefer cards instead of no cards so we'll just tap on um, disable all the themes just in case you have um, okay yes so disable all the themes just in case you have any other theme applied and then compile and update so we'll wait till all the packages get compiled as you can see substratum is running you can also see the progress of each and every app that's getting compiled and updated so we'll get back as soon as the compilation is over so yes the theme has been compiled as you can see we got the theme compilation has been completed no errors while installing any overlays which is good but as you can see it has not themed the systems apps yet so uh, over here you'll get a message that it's up to date any app you see it's up to date it means that those theme has been compiled now but if you choose any other accent or any other background color or, uh, or any stuff like that that message will go away and it will show you as variant not installed which means you'll have to compile that theme particular app again now anyways since it has been compiled let's just enable the selected theme and as soon as you tap on enable selected uh, you will see a progress bar coming on top right there so yes after a quick um, system UI restart you will see that the background of this app has been changed which means it, the theme has been applied successfully so let's check that out as you can see it's all different right there it's all black like I chose and right there the light blue and dark background so yes it has been themed properly now if you don't see it themed properly all right just in case that you've selected enable uh, the theme but yet it did not show any changes and just go to the main page and hit on that three buttons it will show a pop-up menu click on restart system UI once you click on restart system UI it should be themed for sure now let's head over to the font packs and choose some good fonts right now you can see that I'm running a custom font of course so let's change that and apparently this is the only font pack which I have right now so we'll choose the fonts there's a lot of font you can also see it to display right here so yes I would like to have this font and just hit on that check mark and the font should be processing and applied quickly a quick system UI restart again and the font has been changed 
So let's check it in deep. And yes, the font has been changed successfully all over the system. You should find this in every app. So the font pack was that's it. You can also apply the sound packs, which I don't want to right now, but you have the option to add sound packs as well. And if you have any trouble, then you have this troubleshooting menu right here. Just give it some time, read it, and then hopefully most of your problems should be solved rather than spamming around in the Google Plus community. So that was it. Oh no, there's another thing. So just in case there's a theme that is troubling you and you want to remove it, you can either remove from the Substratum theme engine itself by disabling it or head towards file manager. Now I'm going through this file manager because there is no screen recorder for recovery mode. Now there are a few themes that can get incompatible with your ROM. So in that case you need to go to the um, TWRP recovery mode or any recovery that you have installed and make sure that that recovery has file manager in it. So once you have that recovery mode, um, all you need to go do is go to the root directory. So this is how the root directory looks like. And then go to data and then app. You will see that these are the apps that have been installed. In fact, the overlays that gets installed is in the form of apps. So this is the dialer. So let's take an example just in case um, system UI restart has been troubling you. So you need to find the system UI tag. So this is system UI domination as you can read over here. Uh, you just need to delete this and then the changes of the system UI should be gone and there should be no problem in booting up again. So that is how you troubleshoot any incompatible overlays or any incompatible um, theme. So that was pretty much it for this quick video. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button below if you want to watch more. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one.